Subscribe to Drama YT and press the bell icon to get the latest videos first of the all. Hey guys, how are you? It's K2 and welcome back to Drama YT. The overbearing president's romance comedy drama is one of my favorite genre in Chinese dramas. So in this video, I will be counting down my top 10 Chinese dramas which have a domineering president. As always, check the description box for more information about all the C dramas that I'm going to include in this video. And also do comment below that which sea drama list you want to watch next. Now give this video a like and let's get to it. Number ten, plot love. The clothing designer Subei, who was framed for plagiarism and was forcibly sent abroad after being resigned by many relatives, returned home gorgeously as a gold medal model agent after a lapse of seven years. In order to investigate the truth about the suicide by the only relative, Aunt Lan, who committed suicide by jumping from a building, Subei had to restrain herself and pretend to be a virtuous wife. Approaching her ex-husband, Lu Nan, who had not been in contact for seven years and had sent her out of the country forcibly, the domineeringly returning Subei just wanted to find out the truth. With the help of Lu Nan, she was able to resolve the knot and regain her original intention. The two resolved their misunderstandings and reconciled. Number nine, married first, then fall in love. It tells the story of an ordinary girl, Shangan Xiao, who was sold into the wealthy Chu family to pay off debts by her stepmother, who really disliked her. She was forced to marry Chu Fei Wan, the eldest son of the Chu family. Then the two begin their fantastic love story. Number eight, the trick of life and love. When you happen to save the man. That annoyed you the most, and he wakes up with an amnesia. What kind of love-hate relationship will it bring? Domineering CEO Ning Xingming has a reputation for being a professor from the hill. After a mysterious car accident, he is saved by Li Xian, a person that he hasn't seen in years. They were enemies. She was a witty student, and now an all-around secretary. So now the fun of the story begins. Number seven, tears in heaven. Du Xiaoshu is a willful entertainment reporter who impersonates as a nurse and sneaks into a hospital ward to snap a high-rising star's photo after a car accident. She bumps into Cao Zhirong, a swab doctor on duty, that begins their bittersweet love relationship. Du Xiaoshu met Cao Zhirong's family to discuss their marriage and realize to her horror. Cao Zhirong's second brother Liu Zheng is none other than the guy who had a one-night stand with her years ago. Much to Du Xiaoshu's dismay, Liu Zhen forbade her relationship with Cao Zhirong. During an earthquake rescue mission, Cao Zhirong had a mishap and lost his life. As time goes by, Liu Zhen finds it more difficult to resist his feelings for Du Xiaoshu and realized that he had fallen in love with her right from the beginning. Will Du Xiaoshu ever forget Cao Zhirong and learn to accept Liu Zhen? Number six, love unexpected. When a horrible accident claimed. His mother's life three years ago, Siuno was never fully able to recover the shock. Since that day, he has been living with an affective disorder so severe that he has lost all connection with his emotions, unable to laugh, cry, or even love. Siuno has no way to connect with other people, as he has lost all the ability to empathize with others. Incapable of feeling any sense of guilt or remorse, he has become a brutal expert when it comes to corporate mergers and acquisitions. The known for getting a job done, his savage techniques have made him the target of more than a few disgruntled individuals. When the need for a bodyguard becomes apparent, Suno begins the arduous task of recruiting. Among the many applicants vying for the job is KEC, an economics major who secretly dreams of becoming a professional fighter. With incredibly honed senses and lightning-fast reflexes, she easily lands the job. Though Suno is glad to have the extra protection, there is something about the easy way she uses violence that makes him feel uneasy. However, when she throws herself in harm's way on his behalf, he begins to feel something else. Though he isn't quite sure what that something might be, as the relationship between protector and the protected grows, Suno's long-lost emotions gradually begin to return, and with them, a whole new world of possibilities begins to present itself. But within this emotional new world, Suno must ask himself: Is he able to accept the feelings he seems to have developed for C? Number five, unforgettable love. The drama revolves around He Xiaoyan, CEO of Heishi Group, and Xin Yiwei, 
a child psychologist. He tells the story of a rational and indifferent man and a soft, optimistic, considerate and a meticulous psychologist whose relationship develops from acquaintance to love. Number 4. Hello Mr. Go. A CEO with an aversion to crowds enters a contractual marriage with an impoverished heiress. With opposing personalities, they initially butt heads, only to become one another confidence over time. These imperfect souls help each other heal as they fall in love. Number 3. Broker A broker with a hidden agenda plots to steal a scientist's research, yet a mutual attraction develops between them. Xiao Ning is a core member of a research lab spearheaded by the leading pharmaceutical company in the nation. She is devoted her heart and soul to finding answers to scientific problems not only to prove herself but also to secure her country's position in the biological field. As their experiment enters the clinical phase, a new researcher by the name of Zhao Xiaoxian joins the team. His sharp acumen and quiet nature attract Jianning's attention. Similarly, her beauty and strength disrupt the calm in Zhao Xiaoxian's single-minded pursuits. In reality, he is a broker who has walked into their lives for the purpose of stealing Jianning's research. Will she be the one to able to change him? Number 2. Use for my talent because of his incomplete family, Gurenshi has a closed-up personality and misophobia. Si Shuang Xiao used to have a happy family, but later lost her mother in a car accident and become a slow lonely person. The two became acquainted when Si Shuang Xiao becomes an employee in Gurenshi's cleaning company. The two became closer as they get to know each other under each other's influence, then they begin to heal from their wounds. Number 1. Miss Crow with Mr. Lizard Gu Xuan is a passion-filled, vibrant young man with his whole life ahead of him. Until his life is turned upside down by a sudden traffic accident, he suffers life-threatening injuries to his heart and surgeons are able to save him only by giving him an emergency heart transplant. But when he recovers, he discovers that he is no longer allowed to perform most of the form of exercises. Worse still, the doctors warn him that experiencing strong emotions could also end his life prematurely. He tries to return to the normal life, but the changes he must make to his lifestyle take all the fees out of his existence. He carefully avoids anything that could raise his heart rate, even if doing so turns him into a shadow of his former self. Things get another turn, however, when a woman named Jiang Xiaoning comes to work at the company he and his friend has set up. Jiang Xiaoning's own backstory is also tinged with sadness. She was orphaned at an early age. Regardless, she is a vertical fond of positivity. Little by little, that positivity starts to rub off on Gu Xuan, but could this bond ever turn romantic in spite of his condition? So that was it guys, the video ends here. I hope you have liked this video. If you have watched the video till here, give this video a like and subscribe to Drama YT. And yet you guys have not followed me on the Instagram handle, which is right in front of you. It is called dramaYT.k2. Follow me there as well. And I will see you later as always. Your K2. Love, peace and hugs. It's been a pleasure.